Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about creating certificates on Linux systems from Microsoft ADCS using the Certicord Enterprise product by Revisent. This solution allows you to create certificates in a fully automated manner without any manual processes, no cut and paste, no magic tricks with web browsers and files. This is a fully automated solution that uh, provides a Windows auto enrollment type capability um, on the Linux systems um, that are in your enterprise, as well as other platforms such as uh, Mac and Unix as well. In preparation for this demo, we have already set up the Certicord server and configured it to interact with Microsoft ADCS. Additionally, the Certicord agent has already been pre-installed on this system uh, you can install the agent using an RPM, as well as our uh, executable installer, which can be run in interactive or non-interactive mode. Uh, both these solutions, especially the RPM, um, as well as the, the Debian package, uh, allow you to quickly and easily uh, distribute the package via Ansible, Chef, or your other configuration management platform, whatever you're using. So in this case, uh, this system is running Ubuntu 15.10. Uh, we support uh, most Ubuntu, most Debian, as well as uh, Red Hat and CentOS um, on the Linux side, as well as Mac and Solaris um, platforms. So uh, we've already run this. Uh, the, like I said, the agent's already been installed. What we're going to do is a registration command. Now registration uh, can be done after the installation. It allows you to do uh, that separately so that you can lay down the um, application software in a master image or have it installed as part, as a, a part of a provisioning um, uh, process that you have internally and then you can run the registration as necessary. So before you register you're not able to do anything um, so the registration process um, can be done in a number of different ways in this case, we're going to be using um, Active Directory credentials here. Um, I have configured user Smith in Active Directory uh, to have a Certicord, um, a Certicord specific role that is linked in the Certicord, Certicord console so that uh, users in a specific group of which Smith is a member has the access rights to register. If you're not in the, those, um, if you don't have that registration access, um, you're not able to authenticate, um, you're not able to register uh, regardless of your Linux level privileges. So as you can see, the registration's uh, been processed. Um, there are multiple ways you can control the registration uh, using uh, different levels of uh, access controls and approvals. Um, both at individual as well as group and system level. Uh, that's beyond the scope of this uh, demo, so we'll skip right over that and get to the fun stuff, which is uh, creation of a certificate. So we have a very simple command here, as you can see. It's four arguments, CMB cert create usages equal server authentication. So this uh, tells Certicord to create a certificate um, for server authentication. Uh, this is the most common type of certificate. Uh, this certificate has been created and issued um, by our Microsoft ADCS CA. In this case, it's a Contoso issuing CA. This is not a self-signed certificate. Um, this happened very quickly, as you could see, uh, faster than I can talk. Uh, the uh, there is no CSR involved, no website, no cut and paste. This is fully automatic. The uh, configuration of what happens behind the scenes is part of our uh, Certicord console. And if you want to have more information on how that's configured and what you can do in our console, please see our related video. That concludes our demonstration of the Certicord Enterprise Agent which allows you to easily create certificates on Linux, as well as Mac, Unix, and Windows from your Microsoft ADCS or other CA platforms. We hope you've enjoyed this. 
If you'd like more information, we encourage you to visit Rebison.com, where you'll also be able to reach out to us with any questions or any concerns that you might have. If you'd also like to see how the console works, please see our related video on the Circord Management Console. Thanks again.